Amazulu King, Mrs. Zulu Gazwelitini, has used the commemoration of the Battle of Isanjwana in Kezaden to call for unity. The ceremony got off to a rocky start, though, after some family members headed to court to try to stop him from speaking as king at that event. But the High Court sitting in Peter Marisburg dismissed their application with costs. Now, this was the first time that the Anglo-Zulu War Remembrance was held since the passing of King Goodwill Zwelitini Gapehu Zulu. Nijum Africa's senior politics reporter Zianda Ngobo was there for us and filed this report. The 143rd year battle of Isanzona commemorations got off to a rocky start with a cloud hanging over whether or not the event would see King Misu Zulu Gazuelitini address the gathering in his capacity as the Amazulu nation's first citizen. This comes after an urgent court interdict was sought by some family members of the royal household. But even as the Peter Maritzburg High Court ruled in his favor, the king's spokesperson lamented the ongoing public family spat. Mixed emotion. Sing at his mobile or to a whole new shango to stab will look when Zegani, a season is gasul, Sibuwa is with a plum season, Elikulugangara season was Kulugangara. Amazulu traditional Prime Minister Prince Mangosu Tibtelezi has taken a swipe at Prince Mbonisi Zulu, the half brother of the late King Goodwill Zweliti Nikapegu Zulu. Prince Mbonisi is one of the royal family members who's consistently challenged the legitimacy of King Misu Zulu Gazuelitini in the courts. Today, we're celebrating, we're saluting our king today, even more than in the past. Because as all of you are aware, this morning, in Peter Marisberg, Prince Mbonisi, First took the king to court and took me to court. One was dreaming that one day that where the king was going to be, was going to be put on the throne. There was a coronation date when there was none. Then he sued the also the honourable premier of this province. And, and he failed. And today, today, there was a case starting yesterday where he was disputing that we have a king. When it was time for King Misu Zulu to take to the podium, he received several endorsements from Amaboto, even from those who previously questioned whether he was the rightful heir. The king has thanked the nation for not battling under pressure and what he describes as the confusion caused by what's been happening in the courts regarding his ascension to the throne. It is Nibonga, Ubeza Labuin, Bukawan Bowenza Galai, Uti Nina Titegi, Futi, Nabonagatan Titegile, and twenty in Moba. So no more segments, the gang, a loco, Wessilum, Gotta, Ubeba Bunko, see Ingenes by in. The king has received several endorsements, including a significant one from the provincial head of the House of Traditional Leaders, Ngosi Patsisizwe Kiliza. 
All eyes will now turn towards the High Court judgment, which will be handed down by Judge Mjabliseni Matondo on the validity of the late King Zuelitini's will, which affects the succession matter. The ruling is set to pave the way on whether or not a President Cyril Ramaphosa will issue the go-ahead of King Misuzuluka Zuelitini's coronation. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Zianda Ngobo in Ngoto.